Hey guys, it's Super Indian here, and today I am here to show you a tutorial video on how to create splines and how to animate them and place them into your intros and stuff like that. It's actually quite simple, and uh, I kind of wanted to make a video or a tutorial video because I haven't made one in a long time. So I was like, you know what? Simple thing to make a tutorial video on. So here it is um, how to make splines on your intros. So uh, what you want to do is take your Cinema 4D Lightroom or whatever it is, open it on up, and. Uh, I'm waiting for it to open up. There we go, and drag it on over here. So, I uh, in today's tutorial video, I'm gonna show you three types of splines, and then one where you can make your own type of spline. So, uh, the first type of, uh, type of spline that I'm gonna show you is the helix spline. It's the one that drags across your screen in like a a wavy wavy pattern. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you that. Uh, first thing you want to do is go into this little square green square thing box cube thing. Click on it, hold it down, and then drag your mouse onto Sweep Nerbs. This is the heart and soul of the whole um, spline animation thing. So now what you want to do is you want to select the outline, the outline of the whole thing, what you want it to, what you want the little spline to tra trace over, like, you know, trace over. So what I'm going to do for the first one is a helix because I said I was going to do the helix. So here's the helix. Um, one of the most overused ones uh, on pretty much everyone else's intros. I don't really use spines that much. I don't know. I don't really like spines. I might start using spines more often, but you know, it is what it is. So now what you want to choose is uh, the the thing that the shape that you want to outline. So it could be a circle that uh, a circular tube that moves across the whole helix, or it could be a square tube that moves across the helix, or it could be like a star tube that moves across the helix, whatever you, the shape that you want to be moved across the outline is the next thing that you choose. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going uh, to use the circle. So what you want to do is drag the circle underneath the sweep nerves and then take the helix and drag it underneath the circle. Wait, no, drag it underneath. No, you want to drag it. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now as you can see, the circle is too thick and it doesn't really look like anything other than two tongues. But what you want to do is you reduce the radius or whatever aspect of the shape that you chose down to like a certain amount so you can actually see the outline of the helix. So now what you want to do is you can mess around with the helix. Um, you can change the height of it, which will change the length of the actual thing. You can change the end angle, which will create more and more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> Way too many... Um, subdivisions or increase the frequency of the thing and then you can change the end radius which you can make uh, like you know so you can widen the gap of it um, so yeah that's pretty much it now the important part happens where you actually where, where you actually animate and keyframe uh, the spine moving throughout the whole helix so uh, the two things I actually want to mess with are the end growth and the you know the end growth and the start growth the end growth basically uh, see if you mess around with the percent of the growth it moves across the whole thing um, The start growth just basically does the opposite um, so yeah, so uh, the, the reason you want to mess with both things is as one thing goes across the whole helix There's another thing that comes behind it and completes it so that actually makes some uh, fluid movements um, throughout the whole intro so for the sake of this tutorial video, I'm going to do it from right to left. So, I'm going uh, to make this set 0 and keyframe it by con hitting control and then clicking the little circle next to end growth. And then that will create a keyframe right there. I'm going to move it up uh, maybe 10 and then make the keyframe at 100. This is not going to be perfect, just saying. So, you know, I'm going to go to 120 and make it uh, 100%. So now what you want to do is you want to go towards half of it, click on start growth, and then keyframe it at zero, and then go off to maybe 10 after, or no, no, 10 after, there we go, that's 20, wait, I did my math wrong, that's 20, that's 20, this is 10, and then what you want to do is you want to change the start growth to 100. So now what it does is, as you play it, it catches up, so it makes a fluid spline movement. So it won't be like just the whole thing uh, grows and then stops and then it 
fills it up later. So it, it makes it more fluid if you keyframe it like this, where you keyframe both the start growth and the end growth. So yeah, moving on to the next thing. Uh, I said I'll do four different things. I'll do three, uh, three standard ones, and then one where you create your own. So going on to the next one, um, that'll be... All right, delete that. So you want to do sweep nerves always, always sweep nerves. Uh, and then the next thing that I'm gonna show is the flower. So what you do is the flower is it basically outlines the flower. It's just preset. These are all preset shapes basically. Uh, you can do it with any of these. I'm just gonna show you three examples. Um, so now I'm gonna use a circle again. I put the circle. I'm gonna drag the circle underneath the sweep nerves and drag the flower underneath the sweep nerves. Drag the flower below the circle so it actually traces it. Reduce the radius again, and there we go. We got our flower, and then we keyframe it to. Um, I already showed you guys the keyframe. Uh, you guys should know that by now. Uh, so yeah, basically you keyframe it like I showed you last time, and it outlines the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, now I'm, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the other shape that I like is the star. You can make it multiple pointed star, which I'm going to do just for the sake of this tutorial because it'll look cool. That's basically why. I'm going to make it bigger. There we go. Now what you want to do is you always want to have a sweep nerves. As you can see, the same thing that happens is the sweep nerves and the shape that you want it to. Um, You want the shape of the outline thing to be. I don't know, this is a horrible tutorial video. Oh man. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to drag the circle again underneath the sweep nerves and drag the star underneath the sweep nerves. Remember the shape that the outline needs to go below the circle so it'll actually, it'll actually like, you know, trace over it. Reduce the radius of the circle again uh, or whatever shape it is. And then keyframe the start growth and end growth. This is basically it. Super easy stuff, super easy fun stuff. Um, yeah, if you don't like the idea of the circle, you can change the circle to anything really, uh, to create more jagged edges. Maybe you can, uh, you can even put a, let's put a rectangle for the sake of this thing. Uh, put a rectangle in, you reduce the height and width of the rectangle, and then that'll create more sharp, sharp edges to the thing. See, as you can see, there's sharp edges versus if you had a circle, where's the circle? Uh, circle, reduce it. There we go. F see, as you can see, there's more smooth. There's more of a smooth edge to the circle than the than the rectangle does. Or you can even you can even put a a star on top of a star. So you can have a star outlining a star. <laughs> It'll look pretty weird, but uh, you can always do that. You can always uh, have a star outlining the star. As you can see, there is the there's the star that outlines the whole thing. It's pretty weird, pretty weird stuff. Um, spines are pretty fun to mess around with. Uh, you can uh, you can even create your own, which I'm actually about to talk about. Um, so yeah, there's a star outlining a star. So now, uh, about making your own, your very own, your own very own brand new spanking uh, spline that you created by yourself. What you wanna do to create your own spline is Go and create your sweep nerves, and then you want to make the circle thing, you know, the thing that outlines it. I like the circle. You can create the star, square, rectangle thing. Remember, told you, it's all your preference on what you want it to outline, or what you want the outlining to outline and outline. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, now what you want to do is you go over to freehand. This way you can create your own little shape thing and that's gonna be my own little shape thing it goes from here to here to here to here to here loops and then go all the way over to here so uh, you drag the circle and then you drag the spline underneath the circle when you drag it over there that way it will do some magic on this wonderful magnificent shape <laughs> thing that is like the worst spline ever um see as you can see it just just you keyframe it. It's super simple. Spines are super simple. Um, all you gotta do is just create your outline or use one of the preset outlines like these, and then add the circle or whatever shape it is that you wanted to uh, outline of the whole thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's super easy stuff. Super easy fun stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna show you again the whole. 
I feel like the whole star square thing that I did last time uh, was kind of confusing. So I'm going to replace the circle with the star. Put the star in. See? As you can see, the star outlines the whole image, as you can see right here. The thing that outlines it, you can change the thing that outlines it by changing the first little change. So, so you can see as a star, the star, the little five, six, that's eight, no? Yeah, eight, <laughs> eight corners moving across the whole spline. You can, it's really fun to mess with. Um, I'm, I'm just here to, you know, guide you guys into, um, you know, base, this is just the basics of splines. There, you can go like super advanced, go uh, cubic where you create your own points and then it makes curves automatically, but it's kind of hard to, um, kind of hard to m manage, I guess. But yeah, uh, these are just the basics. I mean, that's pretty much it. Tutorial video right there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. You know, if, if you're new to the channel, just subscribe. Click that subscribe button. You know, it helps me out and stuff like that. Um, if you guys have any other questions about this, please, 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 please don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment in the description. I'll help you. I know I'm really bad at making tutorial videos, but you know, um, I try, I try my best to, you know, explain the basics of the whole thing. So, yeah, I hope you guys found this tutorial video beneficial and if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below and uh... yeah that's pretty much it bye guys have a good day and peace